Mary had a little man. Man, man, man. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a segment of your imagination. Randy Roach. Turn up your mind. I take them at their word that they're dead serious this time about destroying Hamas. And if that indeed is the case, um, they're going to have to go back and occupy Gaza much as they gave it up in 2005. Hamas took over in 2007 and imposed draconian repression on the people, totalitarian rule, and they've had four military incursions into Israel as a result of that in 2008, 12, 14, and 21. A total of 300 Israelis, odd, were killed in those incursions, and now we've at least doubled that in one day by the most recent incursion. By the way, the Palestinians who live in Gaza lost over 6,000 people during that time frame. I think what has happened here, and it's, it's not well publicized, is some, at times, the political leadership really wanted the IDF to go back in and occupy, and they've always resisted it. If, we're, if we are serious about eliminating Hamas, then the IDF has to occupy Gaza and systematically go about eliminating them with the cooperation of the people. Now, the people here can be exploited in a positive way because they've been repressed. They don't have anything to show for the life that they have uh, in there. They know full well after all of these years, 16 years, that Hamas hasn't done much of anything to help them. As a matter of fact, uh, when they go and conduct an operation against the Israelis, they use the people to hide from. And they weaponized the casualties that had taken place, used that as evidence to try to attempt to get a ceasefire and cessation of military activities. So the people are fed up with this. Not all of them. You can see young people that are easy to radicalize because they, there's no jobs, there's no upward mobility. But the people who are raising families uh, there want a better life. I mean, when you start listening to... <laughs> Fox News generals, and they're making sense to you. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And he made total sense to me. That's Jack Keane, General Jack Keane. Uh, I think I'm screwed. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I can't get on the, you know, hey, bomb them to smithereens, uh, you know, bandwagon. Why can't I get aboard uh, the, hey, let's slaughter women and children, uh, you know, a uh, 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 train? Why can't I go, you know, along with everybody else on this? Why can't I just say, slaughter them all? Why can't I call them animals? Why can't I do that? I don't know. I really don't know, but I just don't, uh, I just don't A, uh, believe in it, and B, I don't think any good will come from it. I don't think that Jewish Americans or Jews living uh, in Israel or Jews living in Germany or Jews living anywhere in Europe or Jews living anywhere on this planet will benefit from the wholesale starvation of women and children in Gaza. I just, I don't know. Color me skeptical, uh, say I'm a cynic, say that I'm bucking the system. Why can't I just go along to get along? Uh, why am I taking advice from Fox News generals? I know. Trust me, I know how ridiculous that is. But he's not wrong about the population being, uh, you know, uh, victimized by a totalitarian regime where cruelty is the point of the entire regime. There is no food. There is no school. There is no, there are no medical, I mean, there's very few medical services. There is no, there's nothing there. You know, you know what the, the numbers are in Gaza? I mean, it's really sick. 45% unemployment. That's the highest in the world. Yeah, it is. 45% unemployment, 4% potable water, 4% of the water you could drink, okay? I, this, this place, the, the people there have absolutely no ability to dream. They have no ability to even, you know, aspire or, 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 or think that there's a future for their children. There's nothing. It's just a nothing, desolate, beaten down existence. And yeah, you could actually express this to those people who haven't had an election since 2006 and say you realize 
that there's nothing that has come from their subjugation by Hamas. But, you know, there is a better way. And then try and create some sort of a a path, uh, some sort of an environment where safety and security is 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 incentivized and it is uh, prioritized and people who help uh, you know uh, locate these terrorists and 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 help uh, you know get them out of their midst and let them meet their maker in what is justice for their activities against them and others i don't know you know who's doing the hostage negotiations Qatar. You know why? They got a billion dollars uh, invested in Hamas. <laughs> it just I, for a billion dollars, couldn't you possibly, uh, you know, pay some people, uh, you know, in Gaza to tell you where Hamas is instead of saying, you know, you really shouldn't be using, uh, you know, uh, Israelis or Americans or German citizens as human shields. You know, you really ought not do that. You see that carrier group that's sitting right off the uh, the coast there. You see that? You know what that is? I know it's the Americans, and I understand that because of Tommy Tuberville, we don't have a commander of the Fifth Fleet. But that is the Fifth Fleet that's sitting out there. Uh huh. Those are destroyers, those are aircraft carriers. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, one wrong move from you people, and, uh, you know, let's say Lebanon gets a little crazy, or let's say, uh, you know, uh, uh, Syria or Iran start moving around. They will bomb the smithereens out of you. So we, we gave, you know, your, your lords and masters, we gave them a billion dollars and we realized that was a waste, but we, can, we could do it again. We can give another billion, uh, but we can give it to you, except you need to give us them. So I don't know. I mean, could that work? I don't know. Nancy in Wisconsin. I seem to recall that in his infinite wisdom, George W. went against all the common sense intelligence and had a hand in facilitating, pushing, getting that election made, uh, helping it occur, you know, um, and even though it was obvious that, well, Hamas is going to win that election. and that won't be good, but he went ahead. I don't know, whatever influence he had, um, that's how I remember it. I have to fact check you. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> elections are not necessarily bad things. It's just that they never had another one to, uh, to voice their dissatisfaction with what they chose. Well, the timing wasn't quite right. You know, it was like, this is really a bad time because Hamas is... Well, I mean, if you didn't have, uh, you know, uh, you would have had a, 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 a giant, you know, leadership vacuum, right? Because Israel left in 2005 and said, you're on your own, you know, do your thing, right? <laughs> Go for it. Uh, while sealing them in to this little strip of land, right? And so, of course, they were trying to, you know, say, democratize yourself. Go ahead, have elections, choose, you know, your leaders. Don't let a vacuum. Nature abhors a vacuum. You know, the worst will rise uh, to the top. The worst will come in. You'll, you'll end up, uh, you know, under. and they, they chose, based on, you know, propaganda and bullcrap, this group that promised to keep them safe or whatever and get them fed and educate their kids. And they lied. Now, all these many years later, that was the only election they ever had. All right, then. She shot her wad. (laughs) I don't really think that happened, but okay, let's say it did. Wouldn't you want to have another election? Like, oh, I don't know, four years later to say, okay, that didn't work. Let's try something else. That never happened. You know why? It's like, um, hmm, what would a good analogy be? If we elect Donald Trump, that will be our last election. Just saying. I mean, they have elections in Russia. But the result is always known prior to the election, and that would be Putin. You do know democracy around this world is waning. You know that, right? Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.